Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call uh, Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. In, in my uh, contribution this afternoon, I'd like to talk about how we are delivering for New Zealanders through the lens of my community in Papamoa. And firstly, I'd like to start about uh, reflecting the population growth that's occurred in my community over the last few years. It's quite significant. It's now in the top four in the country, and indeed, 74 per cent increase in our population is expected uh, through to 2023. As you would expect, sir, the job opportunities in my community have uh, spiked. Uh, it is quite extraordinary the amount of jobs that we have created in the community over the last year. Uh, in the Tauranga area, over 4,000, and expected that number to increase over the next 12 months. Uh, and not only are those jobs coming, it's the nature of them, sir, from both manual labour, which is critical to support uh, a kiwifruit industry which has recovered uh, beyond people's e uh, expectations, all the way through to applied manufacturing, IT and uh, professional services. We have GDP growth at just on uh, 5 per cent. We have unemployment growth at 5 per cent. Uh, it is a, a community, sir, uh, that is performing exceedingly well. But what I'd like to do this afternoon is to tip beyond those high-level numbers, which of course are, are very positive and reflects to the collective effort of our community to deliver on those, and actually talk to the work that's been done by government, local government and the community to ensure that that momentum is maintained. Firstly, we have anticipated where the people will live. We have a mechanism called Smart Growth which has identified that Omakoroa, that Taurico and Papamoa are the communities of the future. They are where the growth is going to occur. Through this government, we have enabled 11 uh, special housing areas to be established, the most per capita in the country, the most successful in terms of a local government application of that opportunity that exists uh, across the country. We announced uh, two weeks ago the government's contribution to securing that future growth pipeline for our community, $230 million of infrastructure that is going to facilitate that growth interest-free to underpin infrastructure from wastewater through to enabling another 4,700 houses to be built in the short term in Papamoa. Accessible properties have taken over uh, from Housing New Zealand. They have over 1,100. They've got clear plans to build in the short and medium term, and the resistance that the community initially expressed has all but dissipated as they can see the values and, uh, and focus on service that that company is uh, delivering. On top of that, the government's contribution to the housing pressures in our community uh, are 220 emergency housing places for the Bay of Plenty, already uh, a number underway and being welcomed by the community. But we're building enabling infrastructure, sir, to be able to support that growth. We've completed ultra-fast fibre. Uh, we were one of the first uh, areas to, uh, to get it completed. We're now the highest uptake in the country, and that has um, I've seen a remarkable uh, pull uh, for businesses and talent uh, and people to uh, our community. Our infrastructure and roading, we have opened the Tauranga Eastern Link. We've committed half a billion dollars uh, to the Tauranga Northern Link, which starts next year, which my communities are going to be hugely supportive of, particularly those on the western side of my electorate. Schools, we've announced two new schools to be uh, built in the next uh, 18 months in my electorate, one in Papamoa uh, and one uh, in Pies Pa. Uh, and of course a, a huge number of classrooms, uh, as Matt Ducey has talked to, that is uh, going to facilitate uh, the appropriate modern learning environment that we need as, uh, uh, as a community. But on top of that, we're ensuring that this economic momentum, which is significant, and as someone who has lived in the uh, community for 40 years, I've seen some booms before, but this is quite different. It is not just retirees moving from Hamilton and Auckland down to Tauranga. It is a complete mix of families and skills and people with ambition and excitement. Uh, and it is a great uh, place to be. But we can't just assume it's going to stay that way. So that's why we have a regional growth strategy, which is very clear in terms of the sectors we believe that need support. We know that where is, there is specific uh, areas with respect to education. Uh, that we're focused on. We've got Toi Ahomai being uh, uh, merged and established with Bay of Plenty uh, Polytech uh, and Wairiki. We've got the university, CBD development in the city of uh, Tauranga. It is a city that is significantly different to the one I can recall when I grew up, and we are playing a key part. It is wrong for me to stand here and say it is just the government, for it is not. 
but we are a key part of it because we've got a very clear plan that will continue the delivery of that momentum, that will continue to have families and their success and their aspiration at the heart of what we do. And it's why I'm so proud to be able to take this record to my community over the next few months. Thank you very much. Members, the time for this debate has expired. Call on Government Orders of Day numbers one to three. Appropriation 2017-18 Estimates Bill.